In the box, you will get the AML LDX10, a wall charger, the USB cable that goes into the device and into the computer, or it can be plugged into the wall charger to charge your device. You also get a quick start guide and some warranty information. So this is your device, the AML LDX10. It has a touchscreen, a T9 keyboard, a micro USB port, and a sturdy rubber case. To power on the device, press the power button on the bottom. It should go straight to your program. If it doesn't go straight to your program, double tap the DC Suite icon here, or just press it once and hit the enter button on the keyboard. To start using your program, select G2 Energy. On this screen, it will show all the data files you will have. Since you are just starting out, create new data file will be highlighted. Just hit enter on your keyboard to proceed. This will be the name of the file you are transferring to your computer later. I suggest naming it with numbers since it's faster to type, or you can leave it the way it is. If you do want to name it something, press the alpha key on the bottom left to turn on alphabet and start naming it. For this example, I will type out Apple. If you want to use capitalization, press the caps button in the top left. When you're done, press enter on the keyboard or OK on the screen. When it's time to collect data, make sure the alpha button is turned off so you press numbers instead of letters. This big blue button is the scanning button. When you successfully scan something, the screen will flash green. I'm going to hold these barcodes above the scanner so you see what the screen looks like. So it flashed and the information has been captured on the scanner. From here, you can enter the quantity and hit enter. With this device, you can leave the field blank, so instead of pressing 0 or 1, just hit enter. Once an entire record has been completed, you can view that data here. Let's collect a few more data. To edit or delete a row of data, tap view on the touch screen. On the view screen, the information on the bottom left shows which record of the total you're looking at. You can use the arrow keys to navigate your data. When you want to edit or delete something, highlight the row and tap edit on the, on the touch screen or press enter on the keyboard. From here, you can change the data or delete it. Use the arrow keys to navigate around, use the backspace button to remove data, enter new data, and press enter to go to the next field. When you're ready, tap save on the screen, then back to go to the view screen, and back again to go to the collection screen. To upload data to your computer, you want to exit out of the program first. From here, just hit home, then settings, then exit. Next, plug the micro USB cable to your device and into your computer. Let Windows install its drivers if it hasn't already. On your computer, open DC console. Check the video description for the download link if you do not have this program. In DC console, select the sync tab and wait a few seconds. On the left side, you will see the data file on your device. If you have multiple data files, you will see more than one here. If you press the bottom arrow, it will transfer all data files to your computer. If you have multiple data files and only want to transfer one specific file, you would select the data file you want and press the top arrow. Anything in the right window will be transferred to your computer. Click the browse button here to select where you want the data file to be saved. Click delete copy files from device if you want the data to be deleted after it transfers. Click do not ask to overwrite data file if you plan to overwrite your existing data file often. When you're ready, click fetch. If successful, it should say file saved here. Find and open your file. It should open in Excel. To get back to your program, select DC Suite and hit enter or double tap it on the touchscreen. 
Then to go back to your program, select G2 Energy. If you still have a data file on your device, you can still use it by selecting it again or creating a new file. If you want to use the same file, open it and select clear to wipe the existing data or append to add to the existing data.